So you want to start making more out of your life as a digital entrepreneur. You want to find ways to enjoy the work you're doing more, to earn more and to progress more. In order to do this, you need to have a vision of what you want to achieve. At the same time, though, you need to start making smaller, concrete changes to the way you work on a daily basis. You need to be able to see the forest and the trees. If you are a sole trader who is running the show alone, then that makes you both the CEO and the workforce, and it puts you in a unique and challenging situation. The problem is, you can get so swamped by the grunt work that you're never able to think about the logical direction your business needs to take. This means you're constantly treading water and trying to stay afloat, and you're never able to implement the systems that will allow you the free time in order to start working less or more efficiently. This is why many people who work online find themselves stuck in a vicious cycle of trying to get the work done without having the time to look after themselves or enjoy life. Ironically, though, in order to give ourselves time to focus on the big picture, we first need to hone in on the smallest of details. You probably know you're overworked and you probably know that you should drop the clients you have. You're probably well aware that there are likely to be higher paying clients out there who could help you to earn more while working less, but you've been too afraid to drop or negotiate with your current clients until now. Chances are that you aren't about to change anytime soon. So we need a solution. And that solution is to look at the way you're handling your current workload. Because I'm willing to take a bet that you could be more effective and more efficient. If you're currently starting work at 1pm or even 10am, then you're wasting hours of your day. Likewise, you may well be struggling with things like procrastination or distractions. Perhaps you find yourself constantly interrupted by phone calls or struggling to stop playing Doom every morning for the first few hours before you do anything useful. Likewise, there's a good chance that the right technology or even a change in the way you present yourself could help you to get a bit more done. And that will buy us the time we need in the short run to start implementing change. It's time to take a look at how you work and whether or not you're approaching your days in the best way possible. When you're the boss, it's very easy to let your lifestyle go to pieces and to find yourself a bit all over the place as you try to instill structure and discipline in your own routine. But if you're starting work at 10 a.m. and finishing at 10 p.m., then you're not being as productive as you could be. If you often find yourself finishing work at 1 a.m., then you need to seriously reconsider your approach. Not only is this going to prevent you from being able to enjoy time with your friends and family, but it will also come across as unprofessional to your clients. Do you really want to work with someone who is constantly handing work in minutes before the deadline? The solution is to start instilling discipline. That means you wake up at a set time in the morning and begin work at a set time too. Likewise, it means when you're working, you are working, not playing games, watching TV or making personal calls. The first thing you're going to do is to try and fix your sleep so that when the alarm goes off, you will have the willpower to spring out of bed and get straight to work or the gym. This takes a lot of mental discipline, but that's part of the point. This will cultivate your discipline and make you a generally more effective and productive person. If you can leap out of bed at 7am when your body is screaming for you to hit snooze, well, then you can do anything. But it starts with getting enough sleep so that you have more energy and willpower to begin with. This is something that is very in vogue right now and all manner of blogs and websites will discuss the topic of sleep hygiene at length. There are a number of different things you can do to make sure your sleep is deeper, more restful and more effective. The first is to turn off your phone one hour before bed and stop looking at it. 
The same goes for computers, laptops or anything else. For starters, looking at bright screens will cause the release of the stress hormone cortisol, which works against the sleep hormone melatonin. The more cortisol you have in your system, the less melatonin you will produce. At the same time, phones and other devices are stressful in themselves. They're stressful because we associate them with important calls, with angry clients and with work. But they're also inherently stressful in the biological sense. That's because they're filled with things designed to trigger arousal and thereby get our attention. These include things like flashing lights, loud noises and bold writing written in red. Turn it off and your body will start to relax more, especially if you combine this with a bit of reading to help calm the mind and simultaneously make your eyes tireder so that you start to feel ready for bed. At this time of night, there is no reason not to turn off your phone. People will simply assume that you went to bed an hour earlier. Of course, you need to make sure that your bed is comfortable and supportive and you need to ensure that the room is both dark and quiet while you're trying to doze off. Look into getting blackout curtains and remove or cover up anything that has an LED light throughout the night. Also important is to consider temperature. We tend to sleep more heavily and deeply when we are slightly cool, so consider leaving a window ajar or turning the air conditioning down a few degrees to stop yourself tossing and turning in the night. A warm shower will also make a big difference to your ability to sleep. This helps to relax the muscles and also encourages the release of melatonin. Better yet, it helps the body to self-regulate its temperature during the night. You also need to think about what you're doing during the day. Making sure you get fresh air, exercise and sunlight will help you to sleep much better and thus wake up more refreshed. Still struggling to doze off into a deep rest? There are a couple of things you can take to make going to sleep easier. One powerful supplement you can use is vitamin D. Vitamin D is produced in the body naturally when we're exposed to sunlight and this has many key roles in the body, largely revolving around the regulation and production of other hormones. Vitamin D can help to raise levels of melatonin at pertinent times, as well as testosterone, giving you more energy. Unfortunately, most of us don't get anywhere near enough sunlight and thus we're severely deficient in vitamin D. Because vitamin D is associated with sunlight, it can help the body to maintain its circadian rhythms. Now, these are rhythms that tell us when to feel tired, when to feel hungry, etc. Take this supplement in the morning and you should find you sleep better and feel recharged and rejuvenated. More recent studies also show that it is highly effective at preventing colds and flu, potentially even more effective than vaccines and medications. This is an important bonus, seeing as a nasty cold or flu can completely ruin your productivity for days. The other powerful supplement I'm going to recommend is magnesium 3 and 8. This is a supplement you can take just before bed if you're someone who struggles to get to sleep and you should find that it helps you to drop off very quickly. Magnesium is a mineral we get in our diet and, once again, is an important ingredient for a range of processes in the body. In fact, magnesium plays a role in over 300 different chemical reactions throughout the body. Magnesium is highly effective at encouraging sleep and can put us into a slightly dopey and restful state. In fact, magnesium is the reason that many of us associate milk with sleep. It also happens to be a powerful muscle relaxant, thanks to its ability to remove calcium from the muscle cells, which is involved in the contraction of muscle. On top of all this, magnesium is also crucial for testosterone production, and that happens during the night. Magnesium is equally as effective as melatonin supplements for many people, but without the negative side effects or risk of dependence. What's more, it also has a range of other health benefits, making it an all-round great supplement. 
Magnesium 3 and 8 in particular is beneficial because it is more readily absorbed into the brain. It has also been shown to enhance learning by improving a function called brain plasticity. This is what allows the brain to form new connections and to grow new neurons. The next thing you need to do is to make sure that you're actually waking up when the alarm goes off. One powerful tip I have in this regard is to wake yourself up in stages. Never hit snooze. The temptation is great, but you'll almost always feel more tired when you do, rather than more refreshed. You might find that you lack the will to simply jump out of bed though, which is why the better solution is to get up in stages. For example, why not sit up and check your phone for messages? We're often told not to look at our phones first thing in the morning, but if this is something you can look forward to doing, then it will be enough to motivate you to sit up just slightly. Likewise, you might find that you can motivate yourself to sit up a little and talk to your partner, or turn on the TV. This takes very little effort, but by taking this small step, you'll start to come around. In 10 minutes, it'll feel easier to get up than to go back to sleep. We can, once again, augment this with the right tool. In this case, we're talking about a daylight alarm. This is an alarm attached to a powerful light that is designed to mimic the wavelength of the sun and to get gradually brighter as it becomes morning. The idea is that this lamp will simulate the rising of the sun in the morning, gradually getting lighter and thereby stirring you out of bed. The devices are designed to treat those who suffer with SAD or Seasonal Affective Disorder. However, they can be useful for helping anyone who struggles with their energy levels in the morning for two reasons. First, they rouse you into a lighter stage of sleep before the alarm goes off, thereby making you feel less jolted when you wake up. Now, this is a phenomenon called sleep inertia. What's more, when you do wake up, the room feels bright and this boosts your energy in a big way compared with waking up into a pitch dark room and fumbling for an unnatural feeling lamp. OK, so now you're up. What's next? Now you need to get some structure and discipline into your life. And we'll discuss that in the next video. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.